One more couple to go. Who is it, Test Test? Our final couple this evening are Sophie and her partner, Brendan. Yeah. Yeah. After the dizzying spins of last week's Viennese waltz, this week's routine has Sophie starting off standing dead still. She's even been practising by pretending to be a shop window mannequin. Can she pull it off? Of course she can. Our Sophie's no dummy. Bruce gave me that gag. <laughs> Here's what happened when Sophie and Brendan gave Christmas shoppers more than they bargained for. Love you, Bruce. Musicals week for me was... Oh, it was lovely. It felt kind of incredible. I could see the studio lights whizzing past me and I could hear the crowd. I was like, wow, this is quite a moment for me. <laughs> the chemistry between you was fantastic. <laughs> Four nines. That feels pretty good. Reaching the semi-finals would be incredible. I would feel very proud, very excited. The stakes are higher than ever, I suppose, so there's not really any room for error. This week, Brendan and I are doing a tango to Material Girl, and we begin and end the routine with me in a shop window as a mannequin. So the trick's going to be holding this still for the first few seconds while the music's going, the audience are going. What if I get the giggles? That's not good, so we need to give you an audience to practice in front of. I have uh, brought you to this special little place um, to practice your mannequinisms, <laughs> and uh, this is your window. Oh, my goodness. Well, the idea <laughs> we're going to get you to st stand in there and trying to convince everybody here that you are actually the mannequin. I was able to go into the shop window and practice being a mannequin and then do a teeny tiny bit of tango there too. Happy? Mm, yes. Going into the shop window felt a little bit bizarre. We've got lots of shoppers stopping and having a little look. Well, I just see all these people and it's so the unexpected through the display. It's like, wow. There she was dancing in the window with Brendan Cole. What could be better on your way home? We were just totally wowed by seeing her in the shop window. Having this little bit of practice and posing in front of all these lovely Christmas shoppers will hopefully give me that extra little bit of confidence for Saturday night. Dancing the Tango. Sophie Ellis-Bexter and Brendan Cole. It, Bruno. Oh, there's plenty of life in that mannequin, I tell you. <laughs> it's so good to see you performing at, at full steam. Yes. It was quirky, it was campy, it was different, <laughs> it was a really unexpected treat of a tango. The choreography, Brendo, that was a fantastic Wasn't job. Wasn't it? So original. Really, yeah. so original. The thing you you stumbled a few times, Sophie. You have to, you know, because I can see you really want to, you work very, very hard and you put the performance level in, but there was quite a few stumbles in the routine. I'm sure, I'm sure you can do it better. She wasn't but I loved the stumbles. It. I loved it. Uh, Craig. I enjoyed it. Missing a little bit of the V shaping, but that choreography, Brendan, I absolutely love that. <laughs> <laughs> we 
Thank you, Keith. That is news. You are a great thing. Darcy, I wanted attack from you, and you gave it to me. You came out. The intent was there. It was very good. I mean, uh, same as Craig. I would like to see a bit more V between you. Okay. Just lean away. Um, it's a little bit too upright. And the shoulders move around. Just have to fix that. But otherwise, well done. Yeah, great Thank attack. You. You're just being feisty, Sophie. Then. Well, I thought the performance level was much higher. For me, the upper body lacked a little bit of toning. You know, Bre Brendan will reach you, and then you wouldn't quite be with him in I'm that... very way. strong. I can't help myself. <laughs> well, <laughs> but the one thing we've been asking for is a higher performance level, and that could be great. And you got it. High praise for Joe Congratulations, you guys. That was wonderful. We loved it. I'm really thrilled. And, and Brendan, they, they, they adored your choreography. Does that feel fantastic? To in the quarterfinals, yeah. It does. I've had an amazing series with this girl, and the choreography is all down to her because she's a very inspiring girl. Oh, that's yeah. very kind. Okay. Of you are brilliant in the choreography. You've still got uh, the swing of fun to go, of course. Oh, yeah. I, shouldn't, oh, I shouldn't say it's the end. No, I know. But first, <laughs> let's have the scores. Will the judges please reveal their scores? Oh. Craig Revel Horwood. Nine. Yes. Okay. Darcy Bussell. Eight. Lynn Goodman. Eight. And Bruno Tognoli. Nine. Yeah. Nine. Okay. Is that OK? Can I just tell you how much I love Ola Jordan? Because every time there was a name, okay. I could just hear a come on. <laughs> if that 80s tango left you pining for the days of big hair and your beta max, put down your Rubik's Cube and please vote. Call 622-5201 from your mobile. 090-1522-01 from your landline. Or please vote online if you want to see this material pair dancing in the semi-finals. Right, you two, Thank off you go. Please go and get ready. We have about three minutes to get ready for the Strictly Swing a